Hello guys, I am Piani, and today I prepared 10 mods from the mod pack Fabulously Optimized. This mod pack is meant to improve your single player as well as multiplayer gameplay performances, and I will introduce you the 10 most important mods from this mod pack. Before you get into today's video, thank you guys so so much for your support recently. We just hit 200 subscribers in the last few months. And just like always, if you want to see more mod introduction videos like this, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Again, thank you guys so much for the appreciation, and now let's get into today's video. As most of you already know, the most popular and well-known performance boosting mod for a long long time is our good old Optifine. But for those of you who have not heard of it, Optifine is a client-side mod that gives more customization of your Minecraft, allows shaders, and obviously performance boosts. And if you are a big shader user, you will love to see the first mod in today's video, Energy Crawling. According to the maker of this mod, this mod utilizes your other CPU cores threads to do really quick pathing trades from your camera to all tiles slash entities to determine whether they are visible or not. Or in layman's term, it only loads what the players can see. In Vanilla Minecraft, the game calculates and loads as many chunks around you as they can, but a lot of the time you will only pass certain chunks or blocks once or twice, and you don't need the game to spend as much time loading them, which is exactly what this mod fixes. As many of you remember, in my old CityCraft videos, my computer struggles to keep a decent FPS around the storage systems. Unlike most of the blocks in Minecraft, chests are actually entities. So whenever there's a large amount of chests around you, it is inevitable to drop in frames. But with the fast chest mod, it can reduce the lag chest cost to your game to almost nothing. And this is achieved by the changes in the calculation of chests in the chunk, and it is definitely a huge FPS boost for Minecraft survival community. While the previous two mods improved the frame and lags of your Minecraft world, No Fade and Smooth Boot mod helps with another aspect of your Minecraft. As many of you probably can relate, starting up Minecraft or switching resource packs and shaders usually takes quite a while, especially if your computer is as much of a toaster as mine. With these two mods, it speeds up the amount of time needed to load these resources by quite a bit, and there is no reason not to use these two mods, especially if you are playing a mod pack with hundreds of other mods that will usually take a good minute to boot up. Not Enough Crushes is another quality of life mod, and as you can probably guess, it has something to do with game crushes, and you will be right. This mod prevents your Minecraft from shutting down completely when, let's say, you accidentally blew up a thousand TNTs at the same time. Instead, it exits you from the world you were on previously and puts you back to the title screen, which allows you to keep playing without the need of restarting your game. Next up, we have the Dynamic FPS mod. This mod mostly focuses on reducing the amount of lag and performance issues on your computer when your Minecraft is open in the background. It also helps with FPS boost while playing the game in a similar fashion as Entity Crawling. The next few mods on the list are our big guns into this video. Sodium, Lithium, and Phosphor. As you have probably already heard, Sodium is a mod that popped up in the Minecraft community not so long ago, and it is probably the best single performance boosting mod out there. To be more specific, Sodium revamps the OpenGL algorithm to achieve a massive reduction in the amount of work Minecraft puts on your CPU, and with his sibling mods Lithium Phosphor, which improves the light engine as well as the world tick speed, the amount of performance boost is unimaginable. While the previous three mods already seem like a pretty impressive work by their maker, Hydrogen mod, which by the name of it you can already guess is made by the same maker, and this mod uses a pretty invasive way to better the performance of Minecraft, or according to the maker of this mod, it reduces the game's memory requirements by implementing more memory efficient data structure and logic, which to me is just gibberish. But in a more simple term, this mod helps with a large number of mods or packs. While I don't exactly know how it works specifically, it is most definitely something you should consider using if you're going to play with a lot of mods. Now, before I move on, I do have some bad news for the Optifine users out there. If you don't know, the previous three mods, Sodium, Lithium, Phosphor, and Hydrogen, are not compatible with Optifine, which means you will have to choose between massive performance boosts and beloved shaders, zoom, etc. But before we give up our hope completely and ditch these four mods once and for all, the next two mods, Zoom and Dynamic Light mod, can maybe change your mind. As the name suggests, these two mods provide the zoom function as well as the dynamic lighting function from Optifine for those of you who wanted to give Sodium mod a try. Wait, wait, what? Did, did you ask about the shaders? Oh, yeah. 
I have another bad news for you. Alright, that was the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video and hope to see more contents like this in the future, please please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Now I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye!